Hey, what's up, folks? How are we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today we are looking at Trevor Hoffman's changeup. Um, saw this video on, on Twitter. It's kind of a long video, so I'm going to break it down instead of you guys having to watch the 10 minute video, whatever it is. Um, and we're going to talk about a couple of things with his changeup. Obviously, Trevor Hoffman, you know, one of the best changeups, maybe, you know, one of the top changeups um, in the league for a really, really, really long time. Super successful, one of the best closers of all time. Um, I had a chance to play with him uh, when I was in San Diego. Not only was he an amazing pitcher, one of the nicest guys of all time. Um, and so let's talk about his changeup and some of the keys that he talks about, because I think it's really, really important. Um, first thing is in the video they talked about, he talks about this circle change right here. So, you know, what most guys, when people think about the, the change up, a lot of people think about circle change where you've got the, you know, the, the horseshoe right there and you're going to make, you know, your circle right here and the ball is going to be, um, let me just turn this down a little bit. So the ball is going to be kind of more out on, um, the side of your hand near the pinky, right? And so what he didn't like about that, he talks about how he threw that a lot, and he felt like the ball was just kind of slipping out of his hand. So, you know, you have to, for the circle change, you move the ball over, and, you know, with most pitches, obviously a fastball, breaking ball, you're usually using your, your index finger and your middle finger. But on the circle change, you know, you're sliding the ball over, and now you're using a little bit more of your middle finger and... Uh, your ring finger, and if you haven't thrown it, it feels a little bit awkward for most guys, I think, at first. And, and the more you throw it, the more comfortable you get with it. Um, but what he says is he never got comfortable with it. So he tried to throw it, he couldn't get comfortable with it, and he felt like the ball was just going to continue to slip out of his hand. So what he did was he adjusted a couple guys that um, and the bullpen says talk it one day, and he adjusted by sliding the ball over a little bit. So now he's getting a little bit closer to um, a fastball type grip as far as using more of his index finger and his middle finger. And so, you know, he slides over a little bit and he feels a little bit more comfortable with that grip. And then from there, he slides the ball even further over. Um, so now it's further back towards the thumb. Um, and so let's go back right here because there's a good view early on of kind of his change-up grip right here. Okay, so here are a couple of things. So what he does is he first takes his thumb and he finds this seam right here. And so he slides the thumb up that seam and he applies pressure with the thumb on the seam, okay, right there. He's got the ball kind of in the middle of his hand again, so it's he's kind of got that middle finger splitting the ball right there. But he talks about keeping the ball, you can see it here, deeper in his hand. So it's not as much up off the fingertips. It's a little bit deeper in the hand, which is going to take off more velocity. Now, this is one of those things because, you know, I know a lot of guys that um, – have tried grips similar to this, and the deeper you put the ball in the hand, the more velo that comes off the ball, but also sometimes that can be a little bit of a tougher feel for guys, and so, you know, you may want to mess around with it and see, you know, what it feels like to move it a little deeper, maybe put it out more towards the fingertips, I think what you're going to find, what, you're, what most guys find is the deeper you put it, the more velocity you can take off, but the tougher it is to kind of get a feel, and it's one of those things, again, where you're going to have to throw it a bunch to get better and better feel for it. And this may be a grip that really works for you. Maybe the, maybe the circle change is better for you, right? So it's important to try different grips and see what works. Um, he also talks about, and you can see it here, how loose his fingers are. So he talks about keeping his fingers really loose on the ball and making sure that the pinky isn't too far down here. So even his pinky is kind of up here also. So the ball is kind of sitting deep in his hand, loose fingers, thumb, kind of riding on that seam and apply pressure on the ball, um, with that thumb, all right? So those are kind of the keys to his changeup. Um, and again, it doesn't mean this has got to be your changeup, but it was successful for him. And, you know, it's worth a try. If you're looking for a changeup, try the circle change. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. And then you mess around with it. And you can try this grip. 
So the key is, there's dozens of different ways that you can throw, not only the changeup, but any pitch. And there's no magic way, right? So, you know, Trevor Hoffman had an amazing changeup, and this is how he threw it. Pedro Martinez had an amazing changeup. He had the ball more, more kind of in this circle change grip that Trevor talks about earlier on. You know, he was a little bit more on the outside of the ball. So his fingers were over this way more at Pedro. Um, each guy held it differently, had really, really good success with it. So it's about finding a grip that works for you, experimenting. Um, the same grip isn't going to work the same way for everybody. The other key thing is, that he talks about towards the end of the video, is making sure that you throw the change up with really good arm speed. So he talks about the grip is really important, but probably even more important than that is having the same type of arm speed as the fastball. Hitter can't pick it up. Hitter thinks fastball, reads fastball, and has no chance on a good changeup if you throw a good arm speed. So really, really important. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Give it a try. Let me know how it, how it um, feels if you end up working with it. Let me know in the comment section what type of changeup you guys throw. If you throw a circle change, if you throw something more like this, if you're somewhere in between, you know, what, what you do, what, what you found helpful, and what maybe um, you struggle with. Um, so let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Share the video with all your friends. Uh, check out our Instagram, Antony Baseball, our Twitter feed, Man Antony 9. We're posting videos all the time for you guys. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.